Hey guys, Genma the Samurai here, and welcome to this part of, oh, cutscene. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, anyway, um, as I was saying, so last part, um, we were on our way to the city of Edge, um, when we were attacked by, uh, that thing. Um, as well as a giant pack of monsters. Um, Reeves' truck is broken down, and now I have to go and explore by myself. Um, so, yeah. Well, it looks like we're fighting. <laughs> Dude, the way these guys are hanging out, it's like, Hey, boys, looks like we got someone who came to the wrong side of the neighborhood. We should show this guy a lesson. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. Um, okay. Um, I, I don't remember the exact strategy for this, to be completely honest with you guys. Um. Oi. Ugh. Yeah, um, so, I don't know. I also picked up the new Smash Bros, by the way, guys, so, um, that's been fun. Um, been playing it off and on, um, unlocked a decent amount of stuff. Kind of irrelevant to this, of course, and, but, hey, <laughs> I'm just talking as I'm playing this. Am I out of ammo again? Oh my gosh. Okay, I have no choice then. Do I have a limit break of some sort? No. No, I might be just screwed then. What the actual frig? Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's uh, use uh, the rations. Also, I suppose now is a good time to explain how wonky it is using items. Yeah, of all things, using items is one of the wonkiest things in this game. Okay, so to begin with, um, you guys are equated with the D-pad, correct? Alright. So you change which item you're, uh, you have set there with the left uh, thing on the D-pad. You use the item with the right thing on the D-pad. And, uh, up, I guess, opens up the map, and I have no clue what down does. Uh, come on. What do I do? I, I, I literally, I, I feel like I am kind of screwed right now, guys. Uh, okay, let's try that. Oh, well, I got a lucky thing of, uh, full health. Oh my gosh, I, I can't believe this. This, this is stupid. Oh, I destroyed one. Well, at least I found an area where I can just do this. But I don't have much ammo left. I need to, as soon as I'm able to buy ammo, I need to do it. Like, bad. There we go. That's another one. And Pegasus Riders is what they're called. Huh. Alright. There we go. Okay, so I apparently completed the mission. Well, there you go. That was exciting. Oh my god. Okay, um, let's, um... Yeah, why not? Just level up. Um, I can buy stuff now. Thank goodness. Um, 
Okay, so uh, I'm gonna. How many are they? Okay, so it's like ten each. So if I have like a thousand. So here we are at the City of Edge. This place is a lot gloomier than it was in Advent Children. Not that it was very pleasant to begin with due to the geostigma, but um, either way. <laughs> Slashed, strangled, and slaughtered. Beaten, stabbed, and crushed. Garroted and impaled. Shot and executed without mercy. Nicely said, Vice. I wonder if this will be a little more amusing than last time. Oh wow, that's a lot of dead people. <laughs> yeah, no, don't expect her to be very much more dimensional than that. Oh! This character. Who's asking? Vincent Valentine. Reeve sent me. My apologies. Shulua Rui of the WRO. The Commissioner has told me much about you. What happened here? That's what I'd like to know. I'm here on other business, but something's not right. It's too quiet. I've seen no trace of Deep Brown, or the squads that were sent in to fight them. Also, where are the 500 people who are supposed to still be living here? Well, this is getting us nowhere. Like I said, I have business to attend to. I'll see you around. Business? The Commissioner keeps telling me I'm wasting my time. My time searching. Searching for what? For my reason to live. My god, that was such a corny line. <laughs> okay, so that was Shalua. Um, she has the most ridiculous outfit I've seen from the Final Fantasy VII universe. And it looks like something that would fit in perfectly with Final Fantasy X. Um, to begin with, I just love how the first scene we see with her... She's like wearing like a lab coat so that you know she's a scientist, but then she's wearing like super skimpy outfits so that you know she's a woman. I don't know, something like that? Like, I mean, I d I'm not usually that guy who jumps to conclusions, but like, I mean, th that's really basic character design that's just kind of like silly. I don't know. I mean, I love Tetsuya Nomura's artwork, but I do have to admit... <laughs> If he was given, like, that as a criteria, and that's what he came up with, that's a little weird. <laughs> uh, but anyway, let's try and get on that platform. I have no idea if there's anything worthwhile over here, but I kind of want to get it. Also, I love the music here, guys. It is uh, pretty catchy. It's one of the few... Well, I guess it's not catchy, but, like, it is a pretty beautiful piece of uh, atmospheric music. Um, one of the few kind of memorable tunes from this game because a lot of it is very uh, generic so it's nice to see a bit of a uh, refreshing music okay I don't know if that's even doable all right um, yeah the city of edge is uh, a little weird right now um, apparently everyone has gone missing and that's not a good thing obviously um, oh I could have just walked across I'm stupid Right, well, either way, let's head down here. Um, whoa, hello. Yeah, this place is a bit of a maze. Um, so, hold on, let me see if I can s just ration my bullets. Okay. Okay, so machine gun bullets, X60. That's good. Um, 
Yeah, just I'm gonna have to try and keep all of my shots as accurate as possible to save uh, bullets, like I said, so... Oh, God. Uh, there's also... Jeez, this place is really easy to get lost in. I'm going to say that right now. I don't really like the layout of this place. It's too big. Uh, there's a whole ton of different, like, tunnel ways and stuff. Oh, I think I found the correct way. Okay. Yeah. Actually, I do like this piece of voice work up here, just for the sake that it actually it does depict what it's trying to do rather well, but... Yeah. Pushed by a soldier in red squad wiped out. Where? Well, that was dark. At least it would be more dark if there was like blood. Like that's one thing that really, like I said when I was when I was, you know, bringing up the rating of this game earlier, um, was about how I I think this game definitely would have complemented more from uh, making things grittier and bloodier because scenes like that, like I mean. That's kind of emotional seeing like that character kind of die there and like ominous kind of what he says But then it is really undermined by the fact that there is like nothing really to see in terms of you know actual damage um, I don't know Final Fantasy at least if Final Fantasy has never really been rated R um, It's had some moments where it definitely kind of got very borderline like there was a uh, Several moments in FF7, um, but as far as like uh, all these other stuff, I don't know. Um, anyway, so let's move onward through here again. Um, now that we got a gate key, right? I think we got a gate key. Actually, I I don't remember. Let's try opening this. Oh, we did. Okay. See so, yeah, how we got a gate key. Um, anyway, but yeah. Um, FF7 did have some moments, but they kept it very, uh, censored, like, the characters would have this very, uh, mature, uh, dialogue, you know, between each other, um, well, you, if you know what I mean by mature, um, I mean, let's equip the Hydra, so the Hydra basically makes this a full-on shotgun, um, so yeah, now we have three different types of guns to, uh, work with and that's gonna make uh, toggling ammo much much easier um, so yay um, let's pick up uh, some of these other items if it'll let me okay we got rifle bullets um, yeah again though because it's a shotgun um, let's actually customize it more oh it's got the sniper scope and stuff already okay I think we're good then onward whoa okay come on there we go. Um, but yeah, no, like, there's not going to be any real blood, and if there is, it's going to be very minimalistic. Um, is that a good move? I don't think so. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I digress. Let's move onward. Oh, God, I just remembered this segment. Oh, this is the one of the worst parts of this game.
Okay, so to begin with, be incredibly careful about this, because you screw up. You have a lot of backtracking you're gonna have to do. There are more than one snipers. In fact, they are freaking everywhere here. Um, you're gonna need to be really careful to take care of every single one that you can. Um, and if you uh, don't know where they are, be sure to take constant cover. Um, I, see, I see that there's like one, I think, way over there. Yeah, the snipers in particular do a lot of damage. Um, okay. There we go. Um, now, of course, you can pretty much one-shot them when you hit them, but trust me, you want to be absolutely careful. And uh, I'm also... Okay, that was from over there. Uh, right. Ooh. Right, let's pick up that item. It's a phoenix down. Do I need to use one? Um, hold on, let me check. I, I don't think I've died yet, have I? No. Okay. Right, just, just be, oh. Whoa. Okay. What the heck? Oh, hello. Right, I guess you don't really need to, like, zoom in straight up, but, like, okay, there we go, I got one. Um, let's use a potion. Okay. Come on. Is there any other ones? I know that there must be some other ones. Oy. Oh, yeah, so, um, again... Uh, you may recognize this from Avent Children. I guess they're rebuilding this monument. Um, it was destroyed by that, like, behemoth, um, in it. Yeah, you probably wouldn't spend time really paying attention to the locales in this game. Um, unlike, you know, Crisis Core, where you can kind of walk around and kind of see, like, oh, these are these old areas from FF7, you know, and just kind of just be like, oh, this would be cool if this was in a full flesh <laughs> remake. Um, unlike Crisis Core, um, you're going to be constantly moving around and paying attention to your surroundings for enemies um so yeah exploration isn't really gonna be that important with this one um or really advisable i don't know um anyway i did take out a large number of those enemies so i might actually just kind of call it off soon I'm gonna make sure that most of the snipers are taken care of, um, and yeah. Oh god, I'm not running into anything, so maybe they are all gone. Um, yeah, this part of the game sucks. I do like the music, and I do like the level layout, but that's most of what I can say for this. Um, Oh, there's that loveless thing. Um, if you are acquainted with Crisis Core, um, you'll have some context for that. Whoa, hello. Okay. Ugh. Right, so um, also, you see these? Um, these are shops. So if you ever need to buy something, um, you can just go right here um, and buy it. Um, let's buy actually a couple. How much are these? Eh, I'll buy one. Um, where's some handgun bullets? I'm definitely going to need those. Okay, I think we're good. Alright, and on that note, I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next part of Dirge of Cerberus. Alright, mm, bye.